Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So today I want to get into a comic that doesn't get much love, and it's definitely an under-the-radar CGC 9.8, I would say. But I think it's one to target, and certainly if you're into some of the DC superheroes in this book, it's definitely one to target, I think. So, okay, let's get into it here. Uh, I think one of the best under-the-radar DC CGC 9.8 comics is a DC Spotlight number one in the CGC 9.8. It's a really cool collector item, this one. This one was a free comic book back in 1985. A pretty cool cover as well, but it's kind of claim to fame as it's the first appearance and preview of Batman The Dark Knight Returns. And you got some Frank Miller quotes in there kind of giving you a preview of uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which is great. Uh, first appearance in preview of Watchmen as well. It's also first preview of uh, Alan Moore's Swamp Thing run which is pretty much the most classic uh, run of Swamp Thing comics. So for a DC fan, I think it's, a, it's an important book for me, mostly being a huge Batman fan. Um, you know, this is one I wanted because of that, you know, big first appearance in preview of uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns. But these uh, preview books, I think, um, possibly have a little bit of underrated potential. There's already been some preview books in, from the modern age specifically that come to mind, like that Marvel Preview's first preview of Miles Morales book that it absolutely exploded in value in the 9.8. It looks pretty similar on the census to this one. Uh, yeah, DC Spotlight, there's only 22 CGC 9.8s in the blue label. But that first preview of Miles Morales in the 9.8 sold for, it's selling for like 7,000, I think, still, like six to seven, or, and some had went for like eight to nine, possibly. So, uh, big first appearance, I'm kind of an apples and oranges comparison, but I think there's some underrated potential, let's call it, with some of these preview books. And DC Spotlight's just one of those big DC preview books that's really tough to find in the high grade. Yeah, 22, 9.8's in the blue label. So one of 22 is just great for someone who really likes Batman The Dark Knight Returns and to get the first appearance. Uh, a one of 22 in the high grade is awesome. 15.3% uh, the 9.8 ratio, so a good relative rarity too. This one's not heavily graded, so that even looks better. Yeah, you like that in a DC book from the mid 80s, like about 15, uh, only 15.3% of all graded copies are CGC 9.8, a nice relative rarity too. So uh, for mine, I purchased mine about eight months ago. And uh, we'll get into kind of four reasons here why I really like this one, and I do think it's probably one of the best under-the-radar DC books from the 80s, certainly, anyway. Uh, I paid about $410, and, uh, I you know, with shipping, it was a little bit more shipping, I believe, so I probably got it to Canada at, because it was from the United States for about $450 all in. I saw one, like, go a little bit right after I bought mine, maybe within the month, and it was like $375-ish. But since then, seeing most sell for like 450 to 550. Yeah, right in that range. Pretty sure I saw one go for 550. That was a bit ago. I wasn't seeing it on the completed listings. But I think under 500, if you're a Watchmen fan, if you're a Batman the Dark Knight Returns fan, and maybe even a big Alan Moore Swamp Thing fan, uh, this is just looking like a, a good value right now and a great collector item. And one you want to consider in the raw or whatever matches your budget. I saw a 9.6 in this one, I think it was, sell for like 100 bucks. I think it was 110 or 120, so I think there was like 40 something of the 9.6s, 22 of the 9.8s, so you know, the markup for the high grade one. And when you think of this book being a free comic book, you know, most people on that day probably bought all their new comic books that they sort of paid for and then went home and maybe put them in a bag and board and then sat on the couch and like opened this and just flipped through it and messed with it. So I would imagine they're pretty tough to find at all and especially in the super high grade. And you know, a lot of times back then, certainly they probably would have just threw this one out, you know, after you read everything and uh, you know, you, you uh, took care of all the books that you actually paid for. So. You know, and, and for that reason too, there's probably some underrated potential with um, some of these preview books, and we're already seeing it with that. And again, Miles Morales is more popular than Batman: The Dark Knight Returns or Watchmen, but still, it's looking undervalued. I think this one, and we'll, that'll get us into the four reasons here of why I think this one's a great under the radar DC key. First one there is that underrated potential of a rare preview book in the 9.8 specifically because of these preview books. You know, likely they were read and then a lot of them were thrown out and probably really tough to find in that CGC 9.8 high grade. So that's 
one of the main reasons I grabbed it. Uh, second, uh, why I think it's great. Uh, second one, uh, first appearances of those two, you know, big iconic first appearances in preview of Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which is almost like the modern interpretation of Batman, like a new old Batman, because he's old and he's like an older Batman in the story. But it's almost like the first modern Batman, so a huge uh, uh, story for Batman fans like me. And uh, Watchmen, too. So big first appearance in preview I think is you can't miss. And uh, number three, not to be overstated, a cool, uh, awesome, happy cover, I think. If we have a look at it, too, it's a wraparound cover, which is cool. Uh, get it in there. And, uh, I could have uh, dusted the back a little bit better. I'll make sure we do that. But great wraparound cover. You get pretty much every DC hero. And that's my third reason why this one's kind of cool. He just got a great colorful cover that I really like. And uh, they're smiling too. Yeah, that's another thing. You don't really see very many uh, smiley superhero covers. And they're just kind of, it's kind of a unique cover in that way. So that's my third reason. And uh, fourth reason here, a one of 22 in the CGC 9.8. A great collector item. Being a big Batman The Dark Knight Returns fan. Wanted, you know, wanted this one and, you know, a few other good reasons, I think, to uh, think about it. Uh, yeah, DC Spotlight. But, you know, and again, 22 9.8s out there. It's going to be tough to track one of those down. Maybe consider one in the raw or lower grades for sure. Okay, we'll conclude up. I think DC Spotlight number one, it, you know, it's a good value play right now. Because if you do think about, you know, first Miles Morales in the 9.8, it's kind of like 1,800 right now. Like the prices are getting crazy. But um, that preview book being 7,000 in the 9.8, you know, that's if my, you know, three to four, maybe five times as much almost. Whereas this book, uh, preview Batman the Dark Knight Returns, a one of 22, uh, Batman the Dark Knight Returns in the 9.8 is about 1,100, I would say right now, maybe. Uh, whereas this book's about 400. So why isn't this one five times, four, three to four times the price of a Batman the Dark Knight Returns number one? So. You know, it compares good for that, and it is a bit of an apples and oranges comparison, but I think uh, DC Spotlight number one is a good value right now in comic books. Okay, we'll leave it at that, team. A bit of a shorter one today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support from the team, and I'll see you on the next one.